Hello! I would love to share with you a taco bake recipe that my family loves. And if you are looking for a weeknight meal especially that your kids will eat, this is a good one. So um, the first thing I do is I set or preheat my oven to 350. And I have one pound of ground beef um, in my um, pan here that I have been browning. And what I'm gonna add to that is one chopped um, smaller onion. There we go. And so you're gonna let the um, onion and the ground beef brown for just a few minutes. The um, ground beef is pretty much there already here. But we wanna give that onion just a minute as well. And then we are going to add in just one packet of taco seasoning. And along with that, I don't know if you have found um, this garlic paste in your grocery store, but we use a lot of it. <laughs> so I thought I would share, I put a good score to this in too, because we love garlic at our house. sprinkle in the seasoning here and like I said a good squirt <laughs> of the garlic paste and you can make this to your kids taste if they don't like onions don't put in onions if they don't like garlic don't put in garlic if you if your kids love um, red or green or yellow bell peppers that would be a great addition to chop those in and add at this time as well um, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of water here just to kind of get it working and give it a good mix and then after that gets all mixed together we're gonna add in um, a smaller bag of frozen corn. And like I said, if your kiddos don't like corn, leave them out. <laughs> so, but this is a super simple, um, like I said, weeknight meal that um, you can whip up really quickly. it's going to finish its baking in the oven so it doesn't have to be um, completely cooked in there and then um, so I love to use our fresh joy 9 by 13 um, pan for so many things and this is one of those and um, you don't even need to butter it or prepare it in any way for um, this recipe at least um, on the inside it says in his presence there is fullness of joy. So super cute. And so I think we are about ready here to add this directly to the bottom of our pan. Yes, the ground beef is fully cooked and the onions look translucent there. So we are going to pour that into the bottom of our 9 by 13. And then it's kind of just a little bit of layering from here. So super easy, super easy. I would love to know in the comments if you love to cook or bake or both. I definitely am a baker. Um, I cook because my family needs to eat, <laughs> but um, I definitely enjoy the baking more so. All right, so we're kind of layered that down. And then the next step is to um, use a can of black beans. Now I drained this and um, then I'm just going to pour it right on top. I don't know if I'll need the, yeah, I'll need the spatula. So one can of black beans. And again, if your kiddos are not into black beans, that is okay. 
can use a different kind of bean or leave it out all together. It's kind of layering and I found that it's just easier sometimes to add what my kiddos love and leave out what they don't love. <laughs> um, I have a two-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter, so luckily they're not super picky eaters, but you know, you know how it goes. Um, so next, I buy a bag of the um, mini tater tots, and then I sprinkle a good layer of those on top. And then you kind of do want to make it into one layer so that it'll bake more evenly. So here, I think I grabbed a little bit too many. And then my kiddos absolutely love black olives. So I put black olives on next. And it's kind of the same with the, the toppings after you take it out of the oven as well. Put on what your kiddos love. Okay, I got just a couple too many here, but that's okay. And I kind of like push them down into the ground beef just a little bit. And then we probably won't use a whole can. I usually just buy the smaller can, but um, the grocery store didn't have the smaller cans this kind of time, so. Um, and I usually do the sliced black olives just because they're easier um, with littles. But do a good layer of the black olives if your kiddos love those. Um, most, most kids do like tacos, so I, I find that uh, this is a quite a good uh, versatile recipe for many, many people. So. And my kiddos would totally just eat the rest of the can. So, <laughs> all right, so we got our black olives and then we are going to put on um, some Mexican cheese. Or taco cheese, you know, whatever, whatever mix that you love is great. And I usually put a pretty healthy layer on. <laughs> so, so it gets kind of nice and brown and bubbly and delicious. Sorry, I should have um, turned off our dishwasher <laughs> before I started, but hopefully it's not too distracting. It's pretty quiet, so we're pretty lucky. All right. You know, I think I'm just gonna put the rest of the bag on. It's almost gone anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, we love cheese. So, uh, okay, so we got that on. And then the final step before throwing it in the oven is to drizzle on, um, I get the mild enchilada sauce and you just kind of drizzle it over the top here. And it's kind of nice and thick. So it just adds like that little extra taco seasoning that you need. And I use, um, I guess these are um, 10 ounce cans, but I think you can buy bigger cans as well. And maybe you would just need one then. So kind of just drizzle it on top. And then this goes into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. So pop that in here. As you heard, it just dinged so it was ready. Perfect timing. And then let that bake get ooey gooey and taco-y. And then um, after that comes out, I dish it on my kiddos' plates. And we love to put um, um, fresh avocado, um, tomatoes, sour cream, anything that you would love to have on top. And it is a great weeknight meal. So I hope that you and your kiddos will love having our taco bake.